We also have the Special Commissioner of Police, uh, Delhi HGS Dhaliwal with us. Uh, thank you for speaking to NDTV, sir. Uh, it feels finally that justice had, has been delivered. How do you see this verdict after 15 long years of wait? Were you in touch with the family throughout? We are just speaking to Madhvi uh, Vishwanathan, who is Soumya's mother. What kind of reassurances did you give them? No, it is very satisfying uh, to me personally also and our entire team is very, very happy. We are really happy for the Vishwanathans. 15 years is a long time for trials and tribulations. And, uh, you know, though I can recount the entire thing as if it happened yesterday, 30th September 2008, it has been 15 years down the line. But I can tell you that, uh, you know, uh, not only uh, our entire team felt the pain, uh, not for them, these uh, just for Samya's parents, but all the victims which, uh, uh, you know, we have come across. We have always made it very, very uh, critical that victim is always uh, taken along. So in all our cases, uh, even the Swamya case being case in point and present case, uh, from the day she uh, was uh, murdered on 30th September 2008, early morning hours, to early months of 2009 when this case was uh, uh, detected, all those months, not a single day did go by when we did not uh, meet with the family and they would very transparently see the working which is happening. They will see the tasking of the team for the next 24 hours. And they will also see what they have done. And uh, that is why they had so much faith. They knew that whatever is, whatever is happening, you know, there's nothing else which can be done in this case. That is why even though they were given some uh, options of getting case transfer to a central agency or some other specialized agency. They always said no. They said that we want a team of South Delhi police to work on this case. Uh, Mr. Thaliwal, the delay in this case, you know, from charging, uh, from, from framing the charges to appointing a prosecutor to the pace of hearings that slowed down have been talked about. But what exactly were the challenges that the Delhi police faced? And uh, do you think that the time of wait could have been brought down? The challenges were that, of course, you already summed it up that uh, there were no like eyewitnesses to the incident. And in a sense, there was no physical contact between the two cars. The bullet was fired from a moving car with a country made weapon. And uh, the case was detected uh, five, six months down the line. So all those were like huge, huge challenges. But uh, the circumstantial uh, evidences which the team had collated uh, along with the application of Makoka, which was also very deliberated uh, uh, thing. So I think that all helped uh, in ensuring that uh, the court upholds those evidences. Right. Mr. Thaliwal, tell us about the accused here because, you know, we all know that they were part of an organized crime. Uh, there are also reports of one of them flashing a knife in the court to spraying chili powder. What kind of criminals were these and how difficult was it to get their confessions? See, Ravi Kapoor is a very tough and hardened. He had a long history of crimes and he knew the entire uh, working system of the law enforcement. And uh, his other associates, Baljeet and Amit and Ajay, they were also... Uh, they they were also like uh, indulging in various kinds of crime along with uh, the Ravi Kapoor. So they were uh, they were tough nuts to crack. Right. So my last question to you: uh, This case happened 15 years ago. What are the major learnings for the Delhi Police from this case, from its investigation? See, Delhi Police, of course, has you know, but this is more of a you know, I am not dealing with law and order at the moment. Uh, but I can tell you that, uh, generally speaking, Delhi Police is uh, very, very, uh, like I would say, alert to any offenses or any crimes uh, in which uh, women are victims. And uh, street crime is, of course, one of the main focus areas for Delhi Police. Though in a big metropolitan city, uh, you can never rule out 100% that no crime will take place. As in this case also, it was... It was just very, very like uh, uh, 
uh, incidental to the entire entire thing in a sense that uh, these people they were on the prowl they were looking for any victim that could have been any victim and when they saw a girl going at a slow speed at 3 20 a.m and they thought that she's vulnerable they try to chase and they try to rob and you know during that this crime was committed so such a you know one off incident can never be ruled out but i can say that delhi in spite of all this is still one of the uh, safer cities uh, as far as uh, violent crimes against women is concerned thank you mr dhariwal for speaking to ndtv